Hey everyone, it's Tom from Ludicrous Feed. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, some of you may have seen me do a spare tire change uh, using the Bromark spare tire for both Tesla Model Y as well as the BYD Asso 3. Um, now, one thing that didn't sit quite well with me was the fact that the included brace uh, wasn't a calibrated torque wrench. So uh, it was kind of hard to know how tight to tension the wheel nuts of the uh, of those cars. Now Tesla recommends for the Tesla Model 3 Model Y that the wheel nuts be tightened to 175 Newton meters of torque or 129 foot-pounds in the Imperial measurement. So for that to happen you really do need something like this product here which I bought with my own money. Uh, this is the Lexivon half inch drive click torque wrench uh, from Amazon and I'll leave a link to the product in the video description below and it's got the range uh, in both newton meters and foot pounds from 13.6 newton meters to 203.5 newton meters or 10 to about 150 newton meters um, and i'll just show you the product here so this is what it looks like uh, this socket came with the bromark kit uh, if you purchase that from the supplier so that fits in the half inch driver like that on this end and now you've got a calibrated torque wrench to tighten your wheel nuts with, which we'll do today to make sure we got that right. And just to see whether my own tightening with the uh, wheel brace uh, was anywhere near the uh, tension that uh, uh, is required for the Tesla Model 3 Model Y. Okay, so let me just uh, show you here um, to make sure you've got the right tension. So you've got imperial foot pound measurements on this side, and then on the other side, you've got uh, Newton meters uh, in standard measurements. Um, and to basically calibrate it to what you need, uh, you just unscrew down the bottom here and then you rotate clockwise until it reaches pretty close to what you want. So we want 175 Newton meters of torque. 176.3 is our closest. So I'll keep rotating until the bottom here reaches uh, where the mark reaches that vertical line. So. 176.3, zero it there. And each micrometer or micro uh, measurement is 1.36 Newton meters of torque or one foot pound. So if we go back just one to there, well, just almost one, because 176.3 minus 1.3 is roughly 175. We'll just give it a little bit, bit more to be sure. So just under one. And then you tighten up again down here and that is basically calibrated uh, to the right tension. Okay, so, and it's also got a ratchet as well, so uh, left and right, we'll go right obviously to tension it. Okay, so let's, um, let's pull off the wheel cap, and obviously I've got aftermarket caps here from EV Base, uh, but you know, if you don't have that, then you've got the generic, um, you might have a generic OEM cap from, uh, Gemini caps from Tesla, in which case you need to pull it off either way, if you've got a rear wheel drive car with the 19-inch um, wheels, um, and to do that, just put your hands in the spokes, like that <clears throat> and it should pull off like that so they're basically just clips on the back like that okay let's put that to one side just move the tie a little bit across here so we've got more room all right so now is the moment of truth to see whether my tensioning was accurate all right so we've got the right uh, tension down here at the uh, torque wrench we're ready to go so let's start from the top Let's do this. Okay, that's not bad actually. I didn't need to tighten that too much. It clicked already. Let's try this one. Yeah, same with that one, just a little bit more. Don't know my own strength. Okay, that one required a little bit, but again, not too much. And this one now. Oh, that, that one required. A little bit again, but not too bad actually. And this one, yeah, that one, same. So the top one was pretty good. The others just needed a bit more, but you know what, it's pretty close, not bad. Um, but either way, I think I would still recommend uh, getting this uh, calibrated torque wrench. You don't have to get this one. I mean, this is just one that had good reviews from a lot of people on Amazon, but you can get one of these from any of your um, uh, auto shops around town. But yeah, this is what I recommend. You know what might be interesting? Is to see whether the, um, the OEM wheels are calibrated as well. So let's head over to the, um, whoop, let's head over to the rear wheel now, which I've not touched. And by the way, that front wheel I've not calibrated since I tightened it. So 
That's from when I put the wheel back on. But let's have a look at the back wheel here of the Model Y, just to be sure. Same thing, I'll just rip the cap off. Um, let's have a look at uh, this one down here first. Oops. So correct end. All right, let's have a look. Yep, that's good. That's good also. Oh my goodness, that was required a bit more. So that wasn't actually tensioned properly. This one. Oh, same with that one. Just needed a little bit more. And what about this one? Okay, that one's fine. Yeah, okay, so hmm, two out of the five needed it just a touch more tensioning. Let's do the Model 3 next to be here. Why not, just for fun? Same numbers. Same numbers for Model 3, Model Y. 175 newton meters of torque, 129 foot pounds. Okay, let's um, take off the wheel cap on this side. Okay, so same thing with the Model 3 wheel cap. Uh, just clips once again. Put that to one side. Okay, so let's do this. You might need to come this way, Joy. Because I'm right-handed, and very much right-handed. So same thing, same tension. Let's go. Oh my goodness. I needed a little bit more. Yep, same with that one. Definitely got on the right tension, right? Let's have a look. I'm paranoid now. 176.3 and back a little bit, so 175, yes. That's exactly what the manual says. That one. Hmm, that went a long way. This one. Just be careful, don't scratch your car. Just be very careful because that's very close to the fender there. And this one. Let's go a bit lower. Yeah, you see that rotating, right? Have I done that one? Yeah, not that one. See, when, when I've got it right, right, I'll just show you. That's been calibrated, so it doesn't rotate anymore. It just clicks. That's what this, uh, the beauty of this wrench. You know what, I'm gonna go around the cars and make sure they're all calibrated now and make sure they're at the right tension, given uh, we found that. But uh, you get the point anyway, to uh, make sure you get one of these calibrated torque wrenches, click wrenches, to make sure uh, your wheels have the right tension. All right, everyone, that's me, Tesla Tom from Ludicrous Feet. Um, this is probably something you don't need to do every day, but you know, given we're about to head off on a road trip uh, over the holidays, then that's why I'm being extra careful, making sure the wheel nuts are all tightened. Um, but yeah, just a, just a little precaution to make you aware. Um, if you are uh, doing a spare tire change, obviously, you know, uh, if you do a spare tire change, that wheel brace arguably might be enough, but then again, electric cars have a lot of torque, so it might be worth the investment in one of these to keep in your car if you're going to change a spare tire. Uh, even if you are, it's just an emergency situation to get to a tire shop and they'll you know, presumably calibrate it properly for you, uh, talk it properly for you. So anyway, um, I'll leave those links in the video description below for you to check out. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next Ludicrous Feed video, happy charging.